Some interesting little known facts about the porcelain god. The first combined toilet bidget was actually invented in, in America around 1980. Since then, the product has taken off in Japan where 52% of households now contain high-tech toilets. One possible explanation for the difference is that most American houses don't have electronic outlets near the toilet because central heating is more standard. So let's check out this story and flush out the details. Pie humor never goes out of style. <laughs> Toilets have changed dramatically in recent years. There are now many high-tech toilets in the world. Are you okay? Ah, crap. Well, apparently not here. Hi, I'm Kate Kelly, and I'm gonna take you to the front lines of the toilet scene today. What do you expect in a high-tech toilet? Uh, I expect hands-free. Extra amount of relaxation and uh... Maybe some extra engagement there or something. <laughs> that thing that washes your butt. Go relax, uh, listen some music. Have you ever used a toilet that you would consider a high-tech toilet? Uh, yeah, it was really nice. I went to Japan and they had like a butt heater and then it like sprayed in different areas and I can't remember if it like blew air or how you were supposed <laughs> to dry after it sprayed the water, but yeah, it was pretty nice. You enjoyed your experience? Yes, I guess. <laughs> People expect comfort, functionality, and performance from their toilets. Now, let's find out about the newest toilet in the world. Leonardo DiCaprio installed a Japanese-style toilet in his home. When Madonna visited Japan, she said, I yearned for a warm toilet seat of Japan. The Japanese professor TED Talk presentation, The Japanese Style High-Tech Toilet, explains how high-performance restrooms work in Japan now and talks about the future of what high-tech toilets might do in the future. But how did these advanced Japanese toilets arise? The history of Japanese restrooms began in the third century, when people would use a wooden platform built over a river to do their business. In 1000 AD, a box-shaped stool appeared that allowed the user to sit. Only the upper class and nobles had this style of toilet. 300 years ago, an art-like restroom made of ceramic appeared. These were squat toilets and did not have the place to sit down. About 100 years ago, the Western style sit toilet came into style. This was the beginning of the sitting toilet becoming standard in Japanese restrooms. Japan opened up their country to other cultural influences, and Japanese style changed greatly with the inflow of Western culture. Japan has continued to advance in bathroom technology. All aspects are now automatic. With the touch of a button, you can open and close the toilet seat, clean yourself with a jet of water, and dry yourself with a blast of warm air. You no longer need to worry if you forgot to flush the toilet. A sensor will automatically flush it for you. The advent of combining electricity with the toilet has led to a whole new level of features. The Japanese toilet pioneered the way for the eco toilet. The toilet offered two different flushers, one using less water for smaller messes and a larger, more powerful flush for bigger jobs. Being able to select the appropriate flush greatly reduced the waste of water being flushed. It is the pioneer of the eco toilet. Perhaps the most valued feature of the Japanese toilet is the heated seat. With the use of electricity, the toilet can know when you enter the room and automatically warm up the seat. I'm excited to see what new function will come next. Great, I'm sure after seeing that story, we can now expect longer waits for the bathroom. Should bathrooms <laughs> be that cozy? No. We report you decide. And that does it for episode one of 2014's IDTV. We hope you enjoyed the show and that we were able to educate, stimulate, and entertain you. Our hardworking crew is already hard at work slaving over editing base, scouting locations, and rounding up exciting guests for our next show. And that does it for episode one of 
2014's ID TV again. And be sure to check out our Facebook and Twitter web addresses and YouTube channel for some bonus footage on some of our stories and some behind the scenes of the making of ID TV. I'm Nick Winstead. I'm Karen Jaffe. Peace out. And remember, CCSF is open. Research and register for classes online at ccsf.edu.